Elsit 67, Game 2. We have seven professors, PS, TV, W, Y, and Z, that will give guest lectures, one after the other, with the following conditions. P is before W, T is before S, V is before Z, S is no later than the third lecture, Y is not seventh, and P is first if and only if Y is before V. So let's eliminate these one rule at a time. P before W, okay, C is out, T is before S, that one's good, V before Z is also good, S has to be one of the first three, so A is out, Y cannot be seventh, so D is out, and now P is first, if and only if Y is before V. So P is not first in either of the ones that remain, so we need to have instead V to be before Y, which is true here. Here we have Y before V, even though P is not first, so E is out, and B is correct for number six. This condition where P is first, if and only if Y is before V, is pretty interesting because, you know, it, it changes around the direction of these two, and they may have relationships with other things. So I want to split this into two different worlds, one where P is first and one where P is not first, and see how these work out. So over here I'll say P is first, and here I'll say P is not first. Now, I don't need to say P is before W anymore because, of course, P is before W, it's first. Now, T is before S, and S is one of the first three. The only way we can do that is to put T here and S here. Now we've got P, T, and S in our first three. Now, Y has to be before V, and V is before Z. So I'm going to combine those into one line of Y is before V, which is before Z. In that case, Y certainly can't be seventh. Okay, we've got this covered. We don't need to say this anymore. Okay, what's going on? We've got W can go in any of these four spots, and then Y, V, and Z have to go in the other three in this order. That's all that can happen in, in the world where P is first. Okay, so that's pretty simple. Now, over here, we've got... Uh, P before W, T is before S. I'm going to write this, and I'm going to put a line here after three and write T before S up here to remind me that this T and S are two of these three spots, okay? And so I can have one thing that's not T or S in these first three. They're taking the other two spots. And then yeah, P has to be before W. V is before Z. And also, since P is not first, we have V is before Y. Okay? So I'm going to say V is before Z and Y. Okay, we have that Y can't be in the seventh spot. S in the first three, we've taken care of that by right in our line up there. Okay, this is taken care of. Now, what can be last is worth asking here. We can't have Y last, so S has to be in the first three T's there too. Z and W are the only choices for the last spot. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and write Z or W here. Now I can take this off. And so this is what we're looking at. P or V could be up here in the first three along with these guys. And then three of what's left along with Z and W will be in this back four. Number seven asks, which could be first? So in this world, we could have P first, right? Down here, P is not first. So 
who could be first? Well, T and V are the other leading items, the other things that are in front of things and not necessarily behind things. S, W, Z, and Y, they have things that are always in front of them, so they can't be first. So P, T, and V could be first. V is the only one that shows up in our answer choices, so B is correct. Number eight asks, which of the following cannot be second? Let's look through them one at a time. P. Could P be second? We could put P second, have T and S first and third, and other things. Okay, S. We could have T first, then S, and then whatever else satisfies the conditions. T. Yeah, we have T second up here. V. We could have T, and then V, and then S, and then whatever else. W. Okay, this is interesting. If W is second, then P has to be first, but P is not allowed to be first. So W cannot be second. Number nine says, if S is second and Z is fourth, which of them could be true? So we're not in the world where P is first here. So let's, let's copy this and see what we have. If I put S second, then I know I have to have T first. And if I have Z fourth, well, then I have to have W here. And before Z is V, right? So V is here. So that leaves me with P and Y. Right? Those are the only two things left. But I don't know which is in which order. So I'll write it like this. So which could be true? P in the sixth spot. Yeah. P and Y can switch either way, so that can happen. T in the third spot, no. V in the fifth spot, no. W in the fifth spot, no. Y in the third spot, nope. A is correct, all the others are wrong. Number 10 says, which one of the following cannot be the guest lecture that V gives? So it's good to check out the extremes first. So can V be second? Yeah, we can have T, V, S, and then stuff. Okay, the second works out. So let's look at seventh. Oh, seventh can't work. We've already figured out the last one has to be Z or W. So it can't be seventh here and here. V is before Z. So V is always before something. It can't be in the seventh spot. So this is correct. Number 11 says, if Y is fourth and T is first, which of the following must be true? So P first is this scenario. We, we have T first. So we're we're in this world here. Let's Let's copy this over and See what happens when I put T first and Y fourth. Well, if Y is fourth, we have to have V before Y. And S has to be in the first three. So we've got S and V somewhere here in the first, in the second and third spot. We don't know which is comes first. And then we're going to have P, Z, and W in some arrangement over here. Let's see what the choices say here. P is no earlier than sixth. Well, we could put P in the fifth spot, so that's not right. S second. Now, S could be second or third. V is no later than third. Yeah, that's right. V has to be in one, two, or three, because it has to be before Y. W has to be seventh. No, we could have Z in the seventh spot. Z has to be greater than or equal to 6. Now, we could put Z in the fifth spot because V is ahead of it. It's fine. So C is the one that must be true. Number 12 says, if Z is in the fourth spot, which could be true? Up here, Z can't be fourth because 1 through 3 are occupied and Y and V need a place to go before Z. So we're in the world where P is not first, and so if I put Z in the fourth spot there, then I know immediately that W is in the last spot. And before Z is V, so somewhere in these first three, I've got T before S and I've got V. This could go three different ways, right? VTS, TVS, TSV. And then over here I've got a Y and a P. I don't know which comes before the other. So it asks which could be true. 
Could P be in the second spot? No. P's back here somewhere. P in the seventh spot? Nope. W's in the seventh spot. W third? No. W seventh. Y second? No. Y is fifth or sixth. Y sixth. There we are. Y could certainly be in the sixth spot.